These conical mud towers are built by termites harvesting mud from below the ground, mixing it with saliva and extruding it. Each mound is the result of hundreds of insects making individual decisions on when and where to place these gobbets of cement, guided by climatic, environmental, and social conditions. The constant war fought between competing termites for precious mud resources and desirable locations, and the repeated recycling of materials by weathering results in an efficient and sustainable building. This finished termite tower block is far larger a construction than an individual insect could build and can house a vast colony of termites. In 1991, architect Mick Pierce had a problem. An investment group in Harare, Zimbabwe hired him to design the largest office and retail building in the country. The climate of Harare usually requires buildings to be cooled year-round. This means the purchase, installation, and maintenance of a traditional air conditioning system for a building has immediate and long-term costs. But they didn't want to pay for the expensive air conditioning needed to cool such a large building. So that left Pierce with a seemingly impossible challenge. The challenge was to create a self-regulating ventilation system that would keep a building at temperatures that are comfortable for workers, shop owners, and residents. Architects always take inspiration from anything or everything around them to develop a design concept for their proposal. Solving a design problem is often inspired mainly by nature. Since a similar prototype has already been solved by nature, mimicking the same in architecture is an easy resolution. Termites build skyscraper-like mounds that are ventilated by a complex system of tunnels. At first sight, one may dismiss the mounds as heaps of mud. But behind the heaps of dirt that tower several meters high, is a well-orchestrated architecture that involves millions of the tiny insects insulating themselves from the blistering heat. The termites create a long tube at the top of the mound that resembles a chimney which releases hot air from inside the mound. At the bottom of the mound, the termites also create small openings in the wet mud, with the openings trapping the breeze and lowering air temperature once it starts moving through the tunnel. The air pockets and ducts assist in driving natural ventilation through convention. As a way of regulating the amount of heat and humidity entering the mounds, the insects regulate the two through frequently changing the position of the tunnel by either opening up new ones or blocking others. Pierce took that idea to his team of engineers, and they incorporated the termite mound design into the new building. The result is an architectural marvel that achieves 90% passive climate control by taking cool air into the building at night and expelling heat throughout the day. The Eastgate Center is an office complex with a shopping mall, relies on natural means to cool, heat and ventilate. The strong mass of the building and rock stage located at the basement traps heat from the atmosphere during the day. At night, when there is minimum human activity, the air slips into the bottom of the building. This triggers the escape of the hot air that had accumulated during the day through the roof vents. At the bottom of each tower is a small arsenal of fans that push cool, ground-level air upward through a series of ducts. The cool air aerates the office during the next day and the cycle continues. In another homage to nature's smart engineering, Pierce included jagged stone details on the building's facade, meant to emulate the prickles of a cactus. Pointy surfaces have a greater surface area than a typical flat glass, brick, or stone exterior, so they absorb less heat. They bleed off heat more easily, too, keeping Eastgate cooler than an average building of same size and operation. 
thanks to this innovative design, temperatures inside stay at a cool 82 degrees Fahrenheit during the day and 57 degrees at night. Not to mention, it uses up to 35% less energy than other similar buildings in Zimbabwe. Eastgate Building became a landmark of sustainability with 90% natural climate control since its inauguration in 1996. Pierce used similar termite chimney-inspired designs in a Melbourne office building and many other architects also used this technique to make sustainable buildings all around the world.